Let's go. Recording in progress. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, good afternoon, depending on where you are. It is September already, believe it or not. Man, time flies. Um, I hope, first off, you all had a wonderful Labor Day. Um, all of you are hardworking people, um, whether you're working the active business or to me, the hardest work of all is to be parents um, or, or grandparents to those um, that you love. And so to recognize all your hard work and, and the labor that you put in um, over this weekend, I hope it was enough to re, re, rejuvenate your spirits, your body, um, and we have September, October, November, December. I mean, basically four more months um, for this year of 2022. I cannot believe how fast time is flying, um, especially when you're having fun, especially when you're doing um, or you're working with people who are fun. Um, it just seems like time just flies. And so first off, I want to um, express my appreciation as well as um, those at corporate um, David Brown, Ryan Thompson, Angie Hawthorne, and the many, many other um, employees that we have at Actives. And we really want to appreciate and recognize your labors and your hard work uh, for all that you do for Actives, for the Actives family, and for your own families, um, wherever they are. And so with that being said, I'm also excited um, for tonight's call. As you all know, I love the testimonial calls that we have because it comes from you your experiences with our wonderful products, as well as the interactions that you have with others who take our product. And so tonight, our host is the none other professional pickleballer, oh. Diane Young, who I cannot, well, I don't want to play her because I don't want to get exposed on how bad of an athlete I am um, compared to Diane. But we appreciate her hard work and all that she does for actives. Um, and so I will turn the time over to our host, Diane Young. Oh, well, thank you, Stu. And it is a privilege to host tonight. I'm definitely not a pro though. <laughs> I haven't even played in a tournament. We have a lot of fun though. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, good. Well, tonight we're just gonna get right into it because I have three people, um, wonderful teammates. And uh, the first, I'm so excited about all of them. The first is Roy Voltsky. And uh, to introduce Roy, Roy and I have, uh, we're actually at a leadership conference in another company and uh, we had to have a buddy and Roy and I were buddies. And that was 10 years ago, we became fast friends and thank goodness, because uh, we have remained friends and in touch. And I'm just going to hand it over to him and let him tell you his amazing testimonial. Now, I do want to add that Roy has brought in, in the last probably 40 days, about 50, 56 um, teammates, and which is very exciting. And I believe that it's one of the big reasons is because of his testimony. So here we go. Go ahead, Roy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> This is Roy Volsky. Uh, I, uh, I live in the Denver area. I am, uh, I'm 86 years old. And um, I, before I get into my story, why I, I would like to say that uh, as I tell the story and I talk about the products, I want you to know that I'm not making any claims that uh, these products uh, treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate any diseases. And we are not here to uh, diagnose uh, any diseases. So with that, um, I guess started with my story. It, it actually goes back 12 years, almost exactly to the day. Uh, it was back actually in late August of 2010 um, when I, I was dealing with some real uh, severe problems. My wife at that time was terminally ill uh, I had been a caregiver for 15 years, um, and I was dealing with some problems too. She had already gone down, and here I am dealing with some severe problems. Uh, the stem from, well, first of all, I was overweight by 80 pounds, more than what I am now. Uh, I was dealing with some blood sugar problems, and along with that, uh, a lot of leg and foot pain that uh, became almost unbearable. And um, that was 
getting to the point where I could not stand on my feet long enough to prepare a meal for the two of us. And I remember praying more earnestly than I ever had in my life. I said, Lord, I need something. Something is, uh, is going to be a miracle to pull me out of this so that I can continue to take care of her. I also had a couple of other things going. I had bone spurs growing in the center of my spine, and I'd had a sinus and affliction for seven and a half years. Um, nothing would touch it. So I was in kind of a mess. And um, after I had prayed for a miracle, it happened in about uh, 10 days. Two old friends, along with another fellow, uh, two old friends that had worked for me at one time, happened to be in the area. They each had driven 40 miles to uh, meet somebody, hopefully enroll them in their program, and the guy stood them up. And so they said, what can we salvage out of this? And, and one said, well, why don't we call Roy even to see if he's alive? We don't even know if he's alive. Well, they called him, and I was alive. I went over and met them. Uh, they showed me the video of the ABC primetime investigative report, the interview with Dr. McCord, and I knew right then that that, that product was meant for me. So I've been on a, an NRF2 uh, product for about 12 years now. Um, about four months ago, I switched NR2, NRF2 products. But uh, at that time, I started on it, and nothing happened. This is a Nerve 2 product. I, I went on it, and nothing happened for 30 days. Nothing happened or for 60 days. But along about 75 days, the horrible pain and discomfort in my legs started uh, leaving. And by 90 days, it was uh, probably 95% gone. Uh, anyhow, I got great relief. It, nothing was cured, but I got great relief. And then at about 100 days, for some reason, the bone spurs just poof, went away. The action stopped. And 125 days for the first time in seven years, uh, the sinus affliction uh, went away. And um, I, I did pretty well for about a year and a half until early January of 2012. My wife passed away uh, at that time. And I guess the stress of, of all of that, and I had been uh, continuing to be a full-time uh, securities broker and a certified estate planner through all of that and taking care of her. Well, a month after she died, I, I had a heart attack that was followed by five trips into surgery. Um, the bottom line is I have six stents implanted in me and five heart bypasses. And then I think the next time I was in surgery, they didn't do anything. They were imaging and they just stopped everything and came over to me and they said, Roy, we have very bad news for you. There is nothing more that we can do for you. And we're just going to take you back to the room and keep you comfortable. He didn't say until you die, but I knew that's what he meant. So that day I called all my family in. I told them goodbye. I thought maybe I was going to die that day. Obviously, I didn't. But you know, when you get hit with something like this and the shock is is uh, severe, but after a while, I kind of fall back, regroup, and think about things. And um, I decided that since medicine had given up on me, if I was going to survive, I was going to, if it was going to be, it was up to me. And um, so I started uh, uh, thinking about all this. I met one of the hospital doctors who told me that um, he was a nutritionist. And I said, have you ever run into anybody as bad off as I that was able to turn it around? And he told me there was a diet that had come out of, uh, I guess it was the Cleveland Clinic, considered to be the best cardiac clinic in the US, if not the world. Uh, I went on that. It wasn't uh, anything so different. Uh, it was mostly fruits, vegetables, lots of wild salmon, not many carbs or sweets. and. Um, it, it worked that along with uh, going through 48 sessions in cardiac rehab. I continued to do that. Um, since I had almost met the Lord, why well, I decided to start spending an hour a day with him, which I've continued on to this day. And I continued on taking the NRF2 uh, product. And um, that uh, uh, worked pretty good. And about a year later, 
uh, after the last uh, surgery, I got a call one day from the uh, research department of my healthcare provider. And they called and they said, what are you doing? And I said, well, why do you ask? And they said, well, we've been monitoring you behind the scenes. We know that you're really not even supposed to be alive. And then a month ago, your doctor did a big blood profile on you, uh, tested for 47 different things in your blood, and it all came out no normal. Nothing was high, nothing was low. And uh, we know your age. Uh, we don't have anybody like you in our system. And we want you to come in and we want to study you. So I feel kind of like a freak, uh, but I, I went in. They, they, they brought me in 10 different times, studied me. They never would tell me too much, except one of the fellows acknowledged that uh, he, had, uh, he had done some research on the NRF2 technology. And, and he agreed that my aging process had been slowed down, the cellular aging. And uh, another one of the scientists he didn't comment much except that he put his father on the product that told me i guess everything that i um that i needed to know and um uh, that went along uh, pretty well for a few years until i guess about another six years when i was uh uh i, I uh, the second until I met with my cardiologist uh, one day. That was the one that given me the death sentence. And um, as usual, I always handed him a sheet of paper that showed all the prescriptions and everything I took, including the activators and supplements and so on. And he looked at it and said, how much do you pay for all this stuff? He used a different word, which was not quite as nice. And uh, and I said, you know, it's immaterial because you told me six years ago that I was going to die and I'm very much alive and, and well. And furthermore, I've taken myself off of your statin drugs that you had me on. It was taking all the uh, strength out of my legs and I've taken myself off of that. That really ticked him off. And he reared back and he said, let me tell you something says there is nothing that's going to keep you alive except statin drugs and aspirin and that is it and i thought to myself what am i doing here i'm wasting my time we're not on the same page we're not even the same book and um, so i uh i changed cardiologists and when um, i uh, started with this new cardiologist which was a osteopathic cardiologist, and he seemed to be more amenable to uh, alternative types of treatments and, and things than the previous one. And uh, so he said, well, I need to find out kind of where, where you are, where what's going on with your heart. So he put me in the hospital and, and did a whole bunch of, uh, of tests, heart catheterization, and I can't remember uh, some of the other tests. But when it was all over, he said, I got good news for you. Remember the six stents you have? They're all open and flowing. Nothing has closed. He said, the six, that was a five heart, the five heart bypasses is completely open. And they said, the six stents are also completely open. He says, the thing that puzzled me is that original, the original arteries, the Widowmaker and the other one, which was 99% blocked and the other one was 98% blocked, those are both open and, and flowing. I don't know why that is, but uh, everything is open and flowing. So you've got a, a double set of uh, a plumbing uh, uh, around your heart. Um, and uh, so I survived that. And then in 2020, I went on a, a trip to the Holy Land, uh, Israel and uh, Egypt. And um, that was probably the most challenging trip of my life because we walked 75 miles in 10 days, seven and a half miles a day for somebody age 84 uh, is challenging. Well, anyhow, uh, they ended up giving me the um, Lion of Judah Award for my, um, my stamina that I existed. But while I was over there, towards the end of the trip, uh, there were five of us that contracted some god awful disease. Uh, we've never determined exactly what it was. We made it home on the plane, and all five of us went directly into the hospital 
and um, uh, it was really severe. Ended up with one dying. Four of us survived. I my lungs were filled completely with blood clots, and they said, you know, I don't know how we're going to tiptoe through this without one of them breaking loose and causing a stroke or or killing him. But uh, somehow over the next six months, um, they uh, they were dissolved and I got rid of them. And uh, I went along pretty well uh, until January of this year. And I caught uh, COVID um, when I was up in Wyoming, came back to Denver, was in ICU for three weeks. Um, and um, they decided about the third day that I was in the death category. I wasn't in the category of anyone that was going to survive. And they told my family every day, well, he's, um, uh, he's not gonna make it, he's going to die. So we're just telling you so that you can prepare uh, for his death. Uh, they didn't tell me that, but I knew something was wrong because they, they started just kind of giving me water and a little bit of, of food just kind of for maintenance. But uh, uh, that was a long, uh, uh, hard battle. And I won't go into all the details as to how I survived it. Uh, that's a story in itself. All I can say is it was a non-traditional medical thing or reason as to how I survived. Anyhow, I survived it, and but the recovery was very slow. This is a recovery during February, March, and April. Uh, I couldn't get my stamina back. I couldn't get any energy. And I was talking with one of my caregivers one day and I said, I would just like to get back to normal. And she said, Roy, maybe it's time that you came to the realization that you're never going to get back to normal. And being the fighter that I am, I, I wasn't ready to accept that. And, and then the, um, the star rode in and saved my life. That was was uh, Diane Young. She called me one day. Somehow she knew that I had had this horrible experience. And I told her about it. And she started to tell me that, well, some of the people that she had heard about that had had COVID uh, were getting some good results and recovering maybe more quickly with the products that she had. And uh, she went on to tell me that uh, the original scientist, Dr. McCord, who had uh, discovered the original NRF2, had, had left uh, that company and he created a new product that was 10 times uh, as effective, potent and effective as the old product. And I said, I, that was a hard one to swallow. I mean, that's a bunch of sales hype saying it's 10 times as uh, great, but uh, then I listened to a video and it came out in the video. Yes, it's 10 times as effective. And that, that really uh, obviously caught my uh, attention. And I, uh, so I went on the, that's about four months ago, around the 1st of May, I started on the Optimand, the GNMX and the Link, those three. Uh, I quit taking what I'd been taking before and started on that regimen. And at the end of 30 days, I could tell that I was uh, I was doing much better. I was getting some of my stamina back. I was getting uh, my strength back because I had lost all the strength in my legs. They had let me lay there for 20 days in bed and I just wasted away when I had been in the hospital. But uh, then she convinced me I, I had the arrow product also, but I had never used it. Why? I don't know. But she convinced me that, yeah, that's a good product too. And so I started on that. So now I'm on a regimen of four products and uh, uh, it just seemed like things started to explode and go. Uh, I really got my stamina back. I really got my energy. Uh, so many wonderful things happened. The a lot of the discomfort that I had had in my body uh, in the form of inflammation or something, it just started to dissipate in my shoulder, my right knee, my hip. I thought I was going to have to have a hip replacement. Now I can't even, I can't even tell I didn't, there was ever any problem. Uh, my balance 
uh, improve, my brain function that had uh, deteriorated when I was in the hospital so badly, uh, it was back. And it, it was so much fun and life started to be so, so great. I started sleeping through the night since I wasn't having these shooting pains out the ends of my feet in the middle of the night, I was sleeping through the night. I was getting better rest. And I, as I said, the combination, people ask me, well, which of the four products uh, do you think is best or what do they do? Or so, I said, I don't know. I just take all four products and the combination of the four products is so unbelievably great. Uh, and I just go with everybody should be on the four four products. I don't know what's doing what, but something's doing great things uh, to me. So uh, that is uh, that is kind of my story. Uh, I uh, I don't know. I probably left some things out, but uh, I just think that it's so great to get up every morning. Not not some morning, not once in a while, but for being 86 and being able to get up every morning of the world and feel absolutely great. I think that is that is such a blessing. I, I can't even begin to uh, describe it. Um, and people say, well, why did you, why are you thrashing around at age 86 in this business? I, my answer is, well, why not? You know, I don't get my enjoyment from getting up, turning the TV on and watching episodes I've seen six times before and so on. I get my jollies in life out of doing something. And in this case, I, I want to take this message to every living creature that I can. I want to share it with them. Once I've shared it with them, it's up to them to decide what they want to do. And I tell people, don't take my word for it. Do your own research and do whatever you, uh, you want to. But I see, in my working years, I was a Series 7 securities broker, which is essentially a stock broker. Uh, I was an insurance broker and I was a certified estate planner. And I helped people, at least that was the objective, to help people accumulate money for their retirement. And I saw a lot of people that achieved that. They got their uh, accumulation for retirement, but far too many times they would get there and they had neglected their health. They had failed to invest in their, in their health. And so I think people should be starting early, investing their, in their health right along with uh, in, uh, investing for accumulation of wealth so that when they get to retirement, they enjoy their retirement instead of enduring it. So uh, that's the reason I, I do this. I have, to, I have to thank the good Lord every day for all the blessings that he's given me. And um, I, I just wanna spend the rest of my life bringing the good news about this and the bring, bringing the good news about him to every living creature I, I can. So that's my story and I'm stick up to it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Roy, well, thank you so much for sharing that. And that is the word of our testimony. And that's no wonder you have you've shared it and others have listened. And that's what we're all about is simply sharing what, what uh, we've experienced. And so, and the reason is, is because our incredible products. So thank you. And um, I do want to go back. We're really grateful that you're still here with us on this big flat marble, right? You know, because almost three times you were taken out, almost taken out. And um and we're just really grateful for that. Um, we love your new normal. At one time, you had told me that you were basically feeling um, like you were 40 again. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and I do want to go back, too, because you had said that uh, the shooting pain, uh, the shooting discomfort that you had with your feet, that kept you from waking up. But there was another reason you didn't have to get up and visit the latrine. That, that because the, the link actually heals those endothelial cells. I'm just gonna mention that. We had- Those trips uh, cut down from about four a night down to a maximum of one. And some nights I, I don't have to get up at all. Yeah. And there aren't many people at my age that can say that. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to mention that because it's so important. Well, we certainly do appreciate you. We are so grateful that you're on the team here with Actives and uh, 
really appreciate your testimony. So um, thank you again. You're so okay. <laughs> All right. So um, next we're going to go to, oh, I see Barbie doll is her name there, um, but actually it's, it's Barbara, Barbara McLean. And yeah. uh, hello, Barbara, we're going to have you, you tell your story basically and yeah. your experience. Um, Barbara, I was introduced to you just, just about a month ago and uh, through your partner and friend, Tom, and uh, we're just so grateful to have you on the team as well. So go ahead. Well, thank you, yeah. And I have a lot of issues with uh, acid reflux. And so I've been on medication a long time and stuff, and, and it was getting where it just wasn't working anymore. And I went to the doctor twice and went on a couple of different things and it didn't work, it just wasn't working. And I was introduced to the three trifectas and I started taking that. So the first week I could feel the decrease in problems I was having, you know, like in my stomach and into my chest and up into my throat. And so that was helping. So then Diane said to double up on it. So I doubled up on it. And then the following week, then it quit. So I haven't had it for like three or four days now. So that's like a miracle right there, you know, because it's really hard to deal with that. It was just a lot of suffering. And, and a couple other things that I like about it is the pills aren't too big because I have trouble swallowing pills. And also caffeine, I can't take caffeine at all. And this has the green caffeine and it doesn't do anything to me. And I was just shocked. I was actually afraid to try it. So that worked out really well. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also take the, um, the arrow and I drink that. And at first I thought, oh, I don't know, you know, if it'll do anything to me or anything. But I thought, well, she said, put some cinnamon in it. So I put some cinnamon in it and it tastes like apple cider. <laughs> and I it hot like instead of my coffee I have that now and I don't do coffee and it tastes really good and it really makes you full you feel like you don't feel like eating you know it suppresses your appetite so you don't feel like you want to eat all the time and stuff so that has worked and I've lost two pounds yeah that's great because it takes a lot it took me probably it was a couple of weeks before I lost anything then all of a sudden it dropped off a couple of pounds. And I'm short, so it takes a lot for me to lose <laughs> any weight at all, you know, because yeah. I'm only oh. But uh, so I'm really excited about the product. And, and the link is, I take the link extra at night still, just in case, you know, to keep it. And then I'll taper off of it maybe in a week and make sure it's staying away because I don't want it to come back. So I've been really excited about this whole thing that it's working out for me. And I'm so glad I got introduced to it just at the perfect time, again, you know, oh, so nice. I, just for, Oh, uh, how long have I been doing this? Like a month, a month. like a month. Yeah. So it's really helped me a lot. And I'm so thankful for that. And, that's my story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you. So I'm going to reiterate just a little bit. So you've been on it a month. And yeah. before that, what were some of the discomforts that you were having? You know, well, my stomach would, I just feel like I was going to throw up, you know, and then it would travel up into my chest in a kind of a burning sensation. And then it would come up to my throat. And it, you know, like I was going to throw up and do like that every single day, you know, and, and it was just, I could hardly stand the pain, you know, the suffering and it would burn so bad, you know? So I would do the bacon soda thing, which, you know, I had nothing else I could take. I didn't know what to do. So that would help relieve it a little bit, but that's a temporary deal, you know, and I don't want to take that all the time. So I want something I'm going to take that's good for me and help me with things, you know? Yeah. And how so, how long had that, had that discomfort? How long had you had that again? Oh man, see, I, I, I was on this medication for, for a long time that was kind of working, but I'd say it's been like, like two months of suffering, 
and I've been to the doctor and I'm, you know, I, I just, I couldn't get rid of the suffering. How long have you been on medication? So I've been on that medication. I was on that medication a couple months. And how many, med how many medications were you on? Have Three. You been on? I was yeah. on one time. Yeah. First he started me with this one kind. Then I'm like, it's not working. He goes, well, try this one. So I try that. I'm like a guinea pig. And so, okay, well, it's still not working. It, it kind of helped a little bit in the stomach, but it was still coming up. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll give you this other pill. Throw that in. See how that works. So that's how it went. It was just ridiculous. You know? Yeah. I thought I can't keep, and that stuff's not even good for you. I want to take something that's good for you now that can relieve yeah. the problem. And, and who knows, maybe help me with other things that could, now I'm 70 now, so you know how they say things are gonna start happening. Maybe that can help me not get other things. Absolutely. You know, like, jump. <laughs> that's right, look at Roy, right? He's feeling yeah. half his age. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, he looks good too. <laughs> doesn't he? He's awesome. Well, and so, okay. So you had been feeling this, just this discomfort just for a couple months and then, but tried three different, did you say three, three, two couple months before you started the yeah, act? Yeah. I've been dealing with it a couple months. Yeah. A couple months. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Trying different things and yeah. Suffering, go to bed, suffering. I mean, propping and, up so I, you know, you lay down, it makes it worse. Yeah. And, and like where nothing else was working. Yeah. Oh. So along comes active. So you, I remember a week into you guys taking your products, you said, you called me and said, well, we're not feeling anything. I think it was Tom. <laughs> I have only been on it a week. <laughs> Give us some time, but look, and like a, less than a month, just a little, little, just around a month. Yeah. 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 So, and also I want to say you, I, you know, on the bottle with the link, it does say two in the morning, two at night for the first week. So what I want everyone to know is I encouraged her because she did have, you know, issues that way to, mm -hmm. I encourage her to stay out another week. And then at the end of that week, boom, uh, no discomfort. Yeah. Wait till I tell you. I didn't want to say anything. I wanted to wait a few days because you never know. So yeah. it'd be like the fourth day. Then I thought, I guess I'll tell her now. <laughs> I know that's so great. I couldn't believe it. That's really great. I mean, I couldn't believe it actually. Um, that's but anyway, yeah. I'm well, so and then again, you were on all the trifecta, taking the dose of two link in the morning, two at night for two weeks instead of just yeah. one. And, and then, then the other, yeah. Yeah. And in the beginning, you also, like me, uh, didn't want to even start the arrow. And oh, uh, I was nervous. Yeah. Because Real shaky, and I went to the hospital once because of caffeine. Yeah, you know, and I had needles going down my arms and my legs because I, I, I didn't know the cat the coffee was deep. It wasn't decaf, so I had like three cups of coffee, and I was just <coughs> uh, like this, you know, it was horrible. So then when she said it's in there, you know, in the morning, I like to drink that in the morning, something hot. So I replaced that with my coffee because I like that; it's really good. Yeah. And so that worked out good, yeah. Great, yeah, and you didn't like the taste at first. I said, try a little cinnamon, and sure enough, you love it. Like me, I hesitated because of the caffeine. So that's great, that's great. Yeah. Okay, well, we can't thank you enough. And now no discomfort, no discomfort at all, right? In one month. Right. Oh, that's yeah. so amazing. Yeah, really and you can swallow. Uh, it's not oh, yeah. sitting there like it was before. Yeah, and I really like that the pills aren't too big. Because then I'd be opening them up, put them in something, you know, and I can swallow because I'm so thankful for that. Because pills are a big deal for me. <laughs> yeah, especially with your condition that you had. So, yeah, yeah. Well, well Bark, we thank you so much for being on. And uh, we just really appreciate you and Tom. And thank okay. you so much. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, um, okay. So the next one, now I'm going to, Angie, are you there? I'm going to need a little help. I need to screen share. It is Michael. Um, okay. And, um, I, I recorded it. I want to put a little disclosure on this. Um, it was late at night, so I didn't know I was actually going to be on it in the beginning. And then um, it, his mic is very soft, you know, like it's, you can't hear very well. So when you're listening to this, you might need to, um, take the volume up but um so what i need to do is um do do i need to screen share 
and then put sound on, or do I just um, yeah, go ahead? So, yeah, click the share button that's at the bottom, and then it will pop up a box. And right. then at the bottom and of that box, it'll be it'll have share sound. Okay, I did that. And now I'm going to minimize here for a minute and then get it off my... Um, Can you guys see the whole thing? Not yet. I think you need to hit one more button to share. Okay, Diane. hold on just a minute. Oh, I did hit the screen share. Dang it. Hold on. Uh, my apologies. I goofed. Um, my apologies. I hit the sound and now how do I do this? Okay. So I did hit screen share. Okay, here's share sound. And, and then on the share uh, sound, there's one more button to push. There you go. Where at? It will be the bottom right of the white screen. Oh, share. Gotcha. Okay. And now I need to, oh, God, I put it over here. Okay, here we go. Can you see it now? Hello, my name is Michael Olson. I uh, signed up with Actives back in uh, November of 2021. Can't hear it. Oh, you can't hear it? Not very and well. Then try to turn your volume up on that video. So your bottom left, there's that sound um, bar. Okay. Uh, yep, right there. Let's see if we can turn it's, up any more. It's, oh, all, it's the up all the up. way up. Do you, do you think we should just stop it if yeah, you guys can't so hear it? I was having a lot of pains. Because no, you can hear it. There's there. dropping packages and stuff like that. So I had asked my uh, boss if you know they wanted to check, have my hands checked to make sure nothing was broken. And so they sent me to the doctor, the UPS doctor, and the doctor X-rayed my hands and told me that um, I had hands of a 70-year-old. And I know I don't look 70. I'm only 61. And so I asked if there was anything I could do for it. And he said, nope, just put this cream on and, you know, it's the best that it can get. So I was unable to make a tight fist like this now before my hands would get kind of like so. But now I can make tight fists with both hands and I have no pain with it. So uh, the optimum, and I believe all three of them have contributed to helping that. The other thing that I have been doing is <clears throat> uh, I've had problems with my throat for many years. Um, I would eat and because they said there was inflammation in my throat and it was offset, they wanted to balloon it. They gave me a, 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 a medicine to try and help it, but food would get stuck in my throat <clears throat> and I would literally put my hand down and knock it out because I could breathe, but I couldn't swallow or drink. So there's many times I had to go to the hospital and have it surgically removed, steak, roast, uh, different things like that. And even rice and some other stuff would get caught if it was too dry. So uh, since I've been taking the product, this has gone away. I haven't been taking the medicine and haven't had any swallowing issues whatsoever. So that's another thing that has helped for me. Uh, the last, which is kind of a big deal, uh, <clears throat> I had a hernia surgery and that went smooth, no problems. But I, right after that, I had a knee replacement, my left knee. And uh, <clears throat> the doctor, I'd been taking ibuprofen daily, every few hours, three to four, and uh, um, sometimes Tylenol and uh, because it was bone to bone, so there was a lot of pain. And, uh, and then after taking the trifecta, I realized I was skipping taking the, uh, the ibuprofen and stuff, and I wasn't having the pain. So didn't think nothing of it, but right before my left knee surgery, they told me I had to stop taking my uh, supplements the optimum, the uh, 
genomics and the link. So for 10 days prior to, so the first day I went off of it, I was okay. But the next day I had all kinds of pain and, but I couldn't take ibuprofen. I couldn't take anything because it was for blood thinning reasons that they didn't want you to take any of this stuff. So literally for nine days, I was in all kinds of pain and I was hesitant to even do the surgery because they said it was going to be super painful. So my surgery was June 14th, uh, went in and I brought my products with me. So I started taking them in the hospital <coughs> and two days later I started my, uh, my physical therapy. And at that time they're asking me, well, what's your pain level? And I'm thinking <coughs> in any pain at all. <laughs> and for the last couple months, every time I go, they're asking what my pain level is. And um, while I was in the hospital, they gave me pain medication in my IV. But even after I left, I still haven't had any pain whatsoever other than when I'm working out, my muscles are tight, but it's not painful. So for me, it's been a unbelievable uh, help in my health overall. So I got my parents started on the product a couple months ago too. My mother's 83, my father's 86. My father has had issues of repeating his conversations over and over. And since he's been taking the product, when I call him and talk to him, we talk about one conversation and he never brings it up again. Oh. So I believe it's helping his dementia. My mother, uh, she has been taking oxygen for quite a while. She's had triple bypass, all these other things. And you could tell that she had challenges breathing. So she was on oxygen every night. And just recently talking to her, she just had a birthday and turned 83. She said, you know, I just realized I'm not on oxygen every night like I used to. So it's helping her and she even sounds better. So it's a win-win. I don't care what's wrong with you. It can help you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What a blessing. Especially to bless your parents. Yeah. That's Did you stop the... recording yet? No, 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 no. We're not done yet. I, I just wanted okay. to ask you. So with your hands, uh -huh. did they actually give you a diagnosis with that? Yeah, they said basically there was nothing that they could do for me. I know, but what was what was the problem? They said I have arthritis in okay. my hands. And that was yeah. why I couldn't make fists or my grip had decayed and I couldn't hold stuff. Okay. So, and so how long until you, uh, that you took the product, did you notice that you could make that fist or after you saw the doc? When, so you started taking it in November and you saw the doctor when? Uh, January, February-ish. Oh, okay. And um, I, I didn't even notice that I wasn't dropping anything. But uh, when I went on my first, stopped working in, in April, uh -huh. I, I started realizing that I, my fist, I could make fist and tight. And I was having problems opening like water bottles and stuff. I couldn't grip it and open them. Now I'm popping them. It, someone can hand me a jar, I can open it. No problem, no slipping, nothing. Great. So for you, it was like six months after when you couldn't make a fist, you couldn't grab things, you were dropping things. So it was a good six months. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And then how about your pain with your... Um, again, I... No, with your hands, I mean. Oh, I don't have any. I mean... It, it... Oh, great. And did you have it in your hands before? Oh, yeah. 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 It, would, it would hurt yeah. to grab stuff and hold it. Yeah. yeah, it was very painful. I, Perfect. I actually would put, uh, they told me to get this aspartame or whatever. Yeah. So that's what I used to use, and I still have it with me. But um, that was the only thing that would relieve it temporarily. Awesome. So, and then, so did they diagnose you with a certain type of arthritis? If they did, I didn't catch the Oh, name. okay. Because I have some people ask, do you have testimonials yeah. on certain types? I know um, Nancy had the same thing with her hands. It was like in two weeks. 
she was a month she was better so that's awesome though it took yours a little longer and that's okay because it's worth it isn't it yeah, that's yeah. just that's just awesome so okay and then um you had one in between the hands and the surgery and it was your what was it i oh your throat that was huge that's huge so yeah. you would get things caught they'd have to it was be obstructed and you you would have to go in you no longer have to have that done yeah so oh probably last 10 years wow i'd go out to eat with family or whatever and and i could tell when it got stuck because i couldn't drink and i i would basically be holding stuff in my mouth go to the bathroom spit it out try and throw it up wow so it, it would get lodged and uh the first one of the first times I went in, the doctor goes, "Oh, I'll have it out in 15 minutes." Two and a half hours later, she finally got the food out. Oh my goodness! I could well, still breathe, but I couldn't swallow. My saliva would start building up. Wow! Oh gosh, that's that's important to be able to uh, you know, keep your swallow. food down. <laughs> yeah, swallow. Uh, oh God, it, what what a relief! Yeah, I've had to have food removed probably three times in 10 years and then how um how long has it been that you've noticed um that you didn't have that problem quite a few months oh good I mean, good the in inflammation april, probably yeah I, in april is when i really just realized um i stopped taking allergy pills i stopped taking wow. the medication that they gave me because um, I'm allergic to my, all my dogs. I have seven dogs, and I still can't touch my eyes, but I can, I'm not not oh. having half the issues of breathing, and that that causes all that. And so that's another thing that yeah. with your allergies with your dogs, that's much better. So they say the link does that. It's highly related to your gut issues, yeah. so that most people have one way or another so I've, I've heard that many times that's awesome okay yeah. well good and then um then your surgery it was your knee surgery right yeah, left yeah. Knee what left knee replacement yeah. wow that's huge that's really a huge operation and um thank god i gave you time then to call <laughs> your prospects <laughs> Good, something good came out of it, right? Oh, yeah. So anyway, and uh, my goodness, you just had a huge, wonderful recovery with that. That's really great. Great time and no pain at all. That's really, truly amazing. Yeah. No pain in your hands, no pain with your knee, no pain, period. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I haven't had any, I mean, the bone to bone before, I could feel the bone to bone when it was rubbing and stuff. And it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and before you were on, you know, it's non, ours is non NANSED and non steroidal, which is the best, no side effects. So that's great. And your parents, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. You know, that's huge. Bottles, wow. five, 500 capsules of ibuprofen yeah. in about three months. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Well, I, I think that's good. Thank you so much, Michael. We really appreciate you sharing. And I was um, roughing, so I wasn't able to do it. That's why we're doing it now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's a ref. Michael's a ref. Okay. Well, thank you so much. All right, Diane. Thank you. You're welcome. And I really appreciate it. sounds better. So it's a, a win win. I don't care what's wrong with you. Okay, you stop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the sound is still on. What do I do now? Uh, if you stop sharing, it should turn the sound off. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, where do I go, Angie? And, and we can't hear the sound, Diane. So. Oh, you can only. Good. I can hear it. Uh, the only you can hear, and you can just um, like close it, and then it should turn the sound off if you can find. The okay, as long as you guys it. don't hear it, then I'm okay. Okay. All right. Well, whoops, here we go. I just had something come up on my screen. All right, well, we just want to thank everyone. Uh, how are there two Diane Youngs? Um, that was Anne. I don't know. I don't understand the question, Anne. Two Diane Youngs. Oh, hi, Anne. Oh, oh hey. hey. 
<laughs> both, both of the last two speakers, the last interviewers were named Diane Young on your screen. Oh. Um, Diane recorded herself uh, interviewing Michael. So it's the same Diane Young. She was oh, yeah. just doing a, a recording. Oh, with the cap on and everything. Okay, I thought maybe you were assist related somehow. It didn't even look like that's a transformation of Amora with and without makeup, Diane, with and without. <laughs> I'm late at night. Okay. That's how good these products are. You can clean Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm 82. You would never believe it. <laughs> anyway, no, thanks for asking. Yeah, I recorded it on my computer. So okay, you got it. Well, and I also I want to say another disclosure is that um, I've been told that instead of saying pain, I should be saying discomfort. So um, with Michael. So Anyway, we want to be safe because we want this company to be around forever. That's why we have our incredible um, owners that will be around forever, right? Okay, great. Uh, nice to see you there, Anne. So, well, great. Well, that's pretty much, that wraps it up. So, um, Stu, did you want to? Great, thank you so much, Diane. Appreciate it. Wow, those were three powerful, powerful, Testimonials, like I said, I, I wrote down a lot, you know, Roy, Barbie doll, Barbara, thank you so much. And Michael's recording. I mean, it's, it's amazing um, to hear the testimonials, but more importantly, um, your experience with the product, um, the three of you and, and, and how much um, less discomfort, right? Diane, <laughs> yeah. the less discomfort that you guys are in. Um, yeah. or, or maybe no discomfort at all. And yeah. so I, I'm very happy for that. Now you get to go and live your lives and do the things that you want to do. Um, and so that is amazing. And, and that's what we're here for. And, and here at Actives is, is, is to have that active lifestyle, however you define actives um, and the lifestyle changes that it brings. And we want to take it to each and every person because making a difference in one person's lives can make a difference in thousands and thousands of people's lives as well. So thank you so much for sharing um, those testimonials. Uh, with that being said, I know um, usually our testimonials are not that long, but it Do, was well worth it. Do I just want to say? I just want to say one thing. I did not properly introduce Michael. It's Michael Olson. So great, great, awesome. Well, can't wait to um, meet up with Michael again and just to thank him in person um, uh, for his testimonial. But thank you for putting the effort in recording it because, man, that was very powerful. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that he got to share with his parents as well um, and the effects that they get to experience um, from using our product. So thank you so much um, for, for doing that, Diane. Appreciate it. All right. Well, I'll turn the time over. Um, let me stop this recording here. Oh. Well, we're going to stop this recording and then I'll turn the time over to um, Angie. All right, thanks, Stu. So I'm going to put David on the spot to think of a question that we can ask. Um, but before we do that, um, we're going to do a, a wheel of names. Um, but I also have one thing to share. So we're listening to the call as we're driving. We're going to go pick up some hay for our horses. And we're listening to the call. And my husband turns to me and he's, he said, I didn't realize they helped with acid reflux because he suffers really bad from acid reflux. And I said, yeah. And he's like, that's probably why I've had acid reflux the last few days. I've been out of link. And I was like, well, you need to tell me if you're out of the product so I can get you some more. So anyway, um, yeah, it was kind of cool that uh, he heard that and it, it, he's had a great benefit from it. So I will add to that because Barbara, oh, we're still recording, but Barbara did say that they had forgot to take the link at night for like three or four days and it started to come back. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, great testimonial that I have to reflect. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen. We're going to do a will of name. And then um, David's we're still recording. We're still recording. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to draw for two names, and then we're going to ask a question, and we'll give some more reward points for uh, people to answer the question. Here's our first name. You guys probably can't hear the sound. I apologize. I don't think I shared my sound on this one. But our first name is Dan, congratulations, Dan. You are our first winner of 60 reward points. And Stan, if you can give me your last name or ID number, you can get those points added. And then winner number two is...
We're right in the S's today. So we have Steve. So Steve, if you can give me your ID number as well, and we will add your points also. And then David, if you're still on the line, I want to make sure you're on the line still. Yes. Actually, okay. Angie, I've got, right. I've got two questions, given what you just okay. said about riding with your husband, Shane. So if anybody can tell us why it's especially ironic that because of his uh, occupation, that Shane doesn't know it helps with acid reflux. What's Shane Hawthorne's Gastro occupation? Gastroenterologist. He's a physician. A physician. Close. Yes, he's a physician. Yep, he's a doctor. So I don't know who got there first. So we'll have to say, doctor, heal thyself and start taking more link. That's for sure. And then uh, the, the second question is, what's going on this Saturday at nine o'clock that everybody needs to be part of? Bing! Cool. Active school. Active school. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, you guys got a sneak preview of one of the presenters. Um, we're going to put, uh, you're going to have a... Um, another performance, an encore performance by Roy. He's gonna be presenting some of the same information plus a little bit more, I'll bet, in terms of the business side and how he's built his business in 40 days, basically. Um, he's, he's a big uh, lover of the Bible, so it's uh, 40 days and 40 nights are pretty significant uh, for him as well as other things. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to hearing more from Roy and, and all the rest of the presenters uh, coming up this Saturday. So Angie, back to you. Don't forget tomorrow with the uh, one o'clock mountain time. Corporate That's update. Correct. Corporate update call. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, we really appreciate um, you taking all the time um, on your evening, uh, Tuesday evening, to be fed um, and edified with the wonderful testimonials. And once again, we wanted to thank Diane Young for her um hosting and interview skills and all that she does for actives and so thank you everyone i hope you all have a good night we'll talk to you all tomorrow 1 p.m mountain time um on wednesday for our u.s english speaking update call and then as david mentioned don't forget on saturday 9 a.m mountain time um, we will have our active school so i hope you all have a wonderful night don't dream about David too much. You might have nightmares, but nonetheless, we'll see and and, and look forward to um, talking with you all tomorrow. Have a good night. That includes good night, you, everybody. Good night, bud. Thank good you. Night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Good, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Oh, great job, Diane. Oh, thank you. Awesome, Diane. That's Appreciate it. That'd be excellent, thank Diane. You, yes. thank, thank, you, thank you, Roy. Yes. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. Great job. Michael. Thank Lord. you, Michael. Hi. Great. Everyone I learned from. Thank you. Great info.